Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So if you guys don't know, a video went viral yesterday of Wendy Williams. She was on this serious XM interview with a woman named Karen Hunter. And during that interview, Karen decided to ask Wendy Williams about her ex-husband. And she was asking if she legally changed her last name yet. And Wendy basically ends up breaking down. You can tell that the whole conversation about Kevin Hunter, who is not her ex, is a really sensitive spot for her. So it's really sad to see Wendy going through these motions. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Damn Have it, you man. changed out your, the credit cards and the bank accounts and everything to change your last no, name? No, my name is Wendy Hunter. Okay. That's my son's name. And you can't take away... Tw Don't make me... Next. Okay. So who is Wendy right now? Happy. Are you? Yeah. Yes. Yes, Karen. Yes. I, you know what, Karen? I am help, I'm happy. I'm healthy despite yeah. my anxiety. Yeah, that's... that's and, and I am at peace with the world and everyone around me. The cops aren't protecting me, so I learn how to run. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want to get splashed in the face. Um, I am going through a situation in my family. Is there a chance? And, and this is very complicated um, with everything. No. Is there a don't chance? Don't ask. Is there a chance? No. Girl. No. Don't ask. Okay. I know what you're saying. But my family's good. And we'll always be family. Honey. All right, you guys just saw that video of Wendy Williams basically literally about to break down during that question and answer segment with Karen Hunter. And they're no relation in case you're wondering. You twin? No, we are not relations. So so, you know, my thing is this, we talked about on Instagram yesterday, I feel like Wendy needs to stop, you know, partying, kicking it, and she just needs to just calm down, you know what I'm saying, get some counseling, and really do some soul searching. And I know a lot of y'all were like, you know what, she can party if she wants to, you know what I'm saying, she can put on her fuck em dress and, you know, go kick it. She can do whatever the hell she wants to do, she's 55 years old. What I'm saying is somebody who's been through a divorce, a lot of y'all have not been through a divorce, you know, a divorce is different than, you know, this is my boyfriend of a year or two and we're breaking up. Or this is my baby daddy, we're going separate ways. A divorce is very, very different, especially when you're talking about years in a relationship. I was married to my ex-husband. We're together for like, we have been together since high school. We've been married for like nine years, you know what I'm saying? But I've known him for like damn near 20 years, okay? Wendy and Kevin have been together for 20-something years. You're talking about marital assets children and everything else so no she does need to take time to heal and i don't care how much partying you do how many drinks you kick back how many pills you pop that pain takes so long to go away okay i've been there that is like like i told y'all before that's why i never celebrate when people go through divorces like you know when tamar and vince were going through their divorce there's nothing to celebrate a divorce is the closest thing to death in a relationship because that's the death of a marriage that's almost the death of that person you guys have to go your separate ways and depending on what's causing the divorce infidelity side babies you know shit like that that will cause you to go your separate ways and not want to talk to that person ever again in life okay y'all may have to talk because if you guys have children but if you guys don't i've seen people get divorced and they've never seen their you know ex-husband or ex-wife again if there were no kids attached okay so this entire situation is really sad. She might be in counseling. I don't know. But I definitely think that she needs to take some time to heal herself because she's facing this in front of the world. For the most part, when us regular folks go through divorces and breakups, you don't have the whole world watching. You don't have the whole world giving an opinion. 
So I hope that this also helps to humble Wendy a little bit because as we all know, when other people go through breakups and cheating scandals and, you know, divorces and stuff, she's not as timid. She doesn't treat their relationships with as much respect. But I think now that she's gone through the same thing that many other women have gone through, especially with hers being played out in the public, it's gonna cause her to be a bit more humble and to be a bit more understanding of other people's situations. Cause I see a lot of folks who are saying they don't feel bad for her. She's messy, that's what she gets. Other people are very much sympathizing with her. I feel bad for anybody going through a divorce because like I said, it's a really serious thing. It's a very touchy situation, especially when children are involved. It's really, really hard. So I do wish Wendy the best, but I feel like there's a lot of deep issues there that she needs to seek counseling. She needs to, you know what I'm saying, really talk to somebody. She needs to get it out because those simple questions should not have caused her to want to break down like that. So she's holding on to a lot and she's trying to put on a brave face for the world and act like, you know, it's all good. I'm coming out with my little biopic. I got a book coming out. I'm doing me. I'm hanging with Black China. I'm hanging with this person. I'm celebrating my birthday. That's fine and dandy, sis. But at the end of the day, we all break down, in the words of Mariah Carey. You know what I'm saying? We can only play tough, girl, for so long. When those lights shut off and there's nobody there with you, you know what I'm saying? That's the time that we break down and we cry and scream and everything else. So in my personal opinion, she needs to get all that out and stop trying to act like, you know, she's over it and she's doing so well because obviously she's not. I just wish her the best and I hope that she gets the counseling, the support and everything that she needs because for her to go through a divorce in front of the public, but then the way it played out with him having a baby on her and just, you know, just all the crazy stuff that went on over the past few months, she's definitely gonna need some time to heal from that so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning wendy williams going on to karen hunter's show and almost breaking down when asked about kevin hunter do you agree with me that she needs to seek some counseling if she's not seeking counseling and that she really needs to you know just take some time out to herself and stop trying to mask her pain because I feel like that's what she's doing. And then last but not least, do you feel bad for her? Do you feel like, you know what, that's karma. She's, you know, done it to other people. Oh, well. Or do you feel like even though she may have done some shady things and said some shady things about other people's breakups, nobody deserves to be going through what Kevin Hunter put Wendy through. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs>